Hi everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com and I also invite you to follow us on Instagram or Facebook to see a little bit more about who we are and my personal holistic beliefs in skincare and maybe what my estheticians can do for you. Um, if you're just tuning in, I say it a lot, I'm a master esthetician of over 30 years and I believe in holistically taking care of your skin. You won't see my face with foundation or concealer. I really practice what I preach. And it leads into a lot of what I wanna talk about today, which is cystic acne. Now, I kept notes over here so that I can stay on course. I get really excited. I get, um, I think a lot while I'm talking. I have a lot of knowledge that I'm always trying to get out to you, but I think the more specific I can be, the better that it helps you. Cystic acne or redness or um, carbuncles or milia, I know how much it affects someone and makes them feel insecure and uncomfortable. I want to help you to find out why you might be breaking out from cystic acne. So the first thing I like to do is look at your face. Are you breaking out below your neckline, on your arms, on your shoulders, on your back? If you are, you likely do have a pretty severe staph infection. Now staph infection uh, can be just a tiny little whitehead, but when it gets crazy, that's where things have really gotten out of control. And sometimes you do have to go on an antibiotic or something a little bit more intense. Have we been able to help people without an antibiotic? Absolutely. But typically when it gets out of control like that, we maybe need to have some internal help. Now, a lot of you know, I love you to drink apple cider vinegar, if you can take apple cider gummies. I love you to get your gut health clean because it's reflective on what's going on on your skin. Your skin filters the body. And so it's very um, much a window to what's going on inside. I also love when you put apple cider on your face, apple cider vinegar. It really kills bacteria and fungus. So many times we will try that path first before we suggest medication. And I have to tell you, it's not something we suggest a lot. I do think that a lot of people are overly medicated. They're given too many antibiotics. They're put on Accutane when it's really not something that they needed. Um, I've seen and heard so many people tell me, well, I had some acne on my cheek and so I asked my doctor for Accutane. You really have to be mindful that many of these medications are very intense. They really affect your internal reproductive organs and your inter internal body. And so you want to try to find a holistic way before you go towards medication. Now that being said, if it's really severe and you can't take it anymore, I honor that. Here's the thing, take care of the outer side of your skin. Take care of this part of your skin. What happens when you take a drug like Accutane is it dries all the oils, it dries everything up. It's why you have dry eyes, you have dry lips, your skin is very dry, your hair and your scalp are very dry. And when it dries internally, it leaves a lot of scar tissue and pitting and redness on the surface of your skin. So find an esthetician or someone that can help you to take care of your skin while you're going through that transition. I know many times you're told you can't do certain things when you're on Accutane, but I believe you can do some things, especially taking care of your skin better. Also, doctors typically will prescribe pretty intense uh, cleansers or cleansers that are just like watery moisturizer, like say a CeraVe or a Cetaphil, because you're on something so harsh. So be mindful of that. Try to take care of that outer skin, the epidermis, the dermis. Take care of that while everything's drying. But I'm here to talk to you about holistic and why you might be breaking out. So one thing a lot of people tell me is it's hormonal. I don't believe that. I believe that when you're going through puberty, when you're having your menstrual cycle, when you're pregnant, your hormones play with your body. They make you more oily, they make you sweat or perspire more, which brings up more sebum, dirt, and oil, and dead dry skin. And they make you more fluffy, is what I like to call it. You feel like you have that extra weight on. You feel a little, your skin's a little thicker. And so what happens is your skin is rushing all the impurities out of your skin during that time because you're a little warmer, a little hotter. And that's why you think 
that time of the month you're breaking out or during puberty you're breaking out. But really, it's that it's trying to purge everything out. You're maybe not cleaning properly, and we call it the volcano effect. It's where everything has just been pushed and smushed into your pores, and your pores just can't take it anymore, and it pushes everything out, and it becomes acne that typically comes when you're warmer or you're um, sweating or you're making more oil like dur during hormonal times. So I don't believe in hormonal acne. I know, I'm, I think things very differently, but I believe that during those times, your skin is pushing out more and it feels like you're breaking out. I can't tell you how many of our clients, and myself included, don't break out at all when we were, I don't get a cycle anymore, but when they're getting their menstrual cycle, they just don't break out. Or maybe they have one or two because their skin is so clean, there's nothing to push out. Another reason might be allergies. During my seven day challenge, I challenge many of you to stop eating sugar or to stop dairy because this does have a result on your skin. So be mindful that if you're eating a lot of sugar or you're consuming a lot of dairy, stop it for a while and let's see if that can stop your skin from causing acne or cystic acne. Diet can have a lot to do with what's going on in your body and what your skin is trying to purge out. And I also believe that if you ever get allergy tested, many times you're allergic during that moment in your life or that day or what's going on with your body because people will get allergy tested and then maybe weeks or months later they're not um, allergic to that same thing. So be very mindful of that. Um, I have so many people tell me I can't use pumpkin Lisa and pumpkin is in our miracle mask, but really they do just fine with it. You might be hearing my baby walking around. My Sammy's always close by. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, use products that are not synthetic. There are so many synthetic products out there now, and synthetic can cause chemical burns, chemical reactions on your skin. Your skin can get irritated and therefore cause cystic acne, um, cause the skin to erupt, if you will. Use pure products. Um, someone asked me the other day, Lisa, what do you mean by pure antioxidants? I mean vitamin C and E. I also think vitamin A, but I also mean that to be anything that's like food, blueberries, pomegranate, cranberries, um, flowers like daisy, uh, marigold. These are all natural, holistic things that help your skin. Drinking apple cider vinegar, drinking a lot of water. But what you wash your face with is so very, very important. And many times you have reactions to those products. Now go back and look at my video, how to start a new product, because if you're just breaking out a little bit or you get a little red, for like fungal or bacterial, um, that can just be layers of skin finally coming off or that callus layer, your skin care finally working and pushing all of that junk out and you will eventually have really beautiful healthy skin but you've got to get through that. Foundation. You hear me say it all the time. Stop washing your face and doing beautiful things to it and then layering it with concealers and BB creams and foundation and color. It's not good for your skin. You may think your skin doesn't breathe, but think of your pores as little mouths and you constantly are just forcing that foundation in there and eventually it erupts and causes acne. Um, foundation is also based on a lot of chemicals, unless you find something natural, but even then I don't like something creamy on your face. If you're just tuning in, I don't wear any foundation. I don't wear any makeup on my face. I keep it clean and I cannot tell you, once we take a client off of foundation, their skin changes within 24 to 48 hours, every single time. Their skin may purge, they may break out a little bit because it's finally cleaning out, but it makes a difference. And foundation can cause cystic acne and really severe acne. And it's sad because I can't imagine what you must be feeling when you wake up in the morning. I do know because I've seen it and I've, I've worked with clients, but you wake up in the morning, you see all that acne and you just want to cover it up. Try to leave it alone and let the skin breathe. Take a little bit of cornstarch powder and just put it all over your face. Put a milk and magnesia mask on. Put apple cider vinegar on. If something's white and you feel like you have to pick it, wrap tissue around your finger, then clean the area with apple cider vinegar, maybe peroxide, maybe a dab of alcohol. I want you to be mindful of your barrier of your skin. Put some milk and magnesia on it to pull it out 
and to take away inflammation and redness and just allow your skin to purge out and clean. If you keep putting layer upon layer of foundation and contours and concealers and all these different things on your skin, it's never going to be healthy and it's never going to be better and it absolutely will age faster. People like to debate me on this, but foundation is absolutely the number one cause of acne and aging besides the sun. I've seen it, I have practical knowledge, and we have seen hundreds of thousands of clients, and I am able to help them have better skin. So get rid of the foundation. Sunscreen, only uses zinc oxide. Many sunscreens have color to them. Uh, you don't want your sunscreen or your SPF factor to be mixed with a uh, foundation or a moisturizer because it brings down that uh, 45 or that uh, UV 25 or whatever it is, it brings it down. It's not as pure. And it also poisons that moisturizer or whatever you're trying to put on your skin that has really great benefits. Putting color in your sunscreen, unless it is an iron oxide or something natural, can also cause a lot of irritation on your face. I'm actually looking at a sunscreen right now um, that is a zinc oxide with some iron oxide color in it to see if it's breaking me out or how it's working. And I'll be able to let a lot of you know about that, hopefully in the coming months. But be mindful of the sunscreen that you wear. Sunscreens can be poison. They can really cause acne and irritation on your skin and it's not worth it if you um, wear something really crappy. Uh, I always say this about skincare and about sunscreen. You know, you get what you pay for. And if something is pure and natural, it's going to last you longer and it ends up being less expensive and it's better for your skin in the long run. Hair products. Don't go to bed with wet hair. We have natural fungus and bacteria always on our skin. It's when we activate it that we have an issue. When you go to bed with wet hair, when you don't change your pillowcase and you've got all that junk on it, you can activate fungus and bacteria on your face. So be very mindful to wear your hair up or wear it in a bun or what have you. Don't have hair gels, hairsprays, any of that on your hair at night when you go to bed. And be mindful when you get your hair colored when hair salons get to open again that they protect your skin. Uh, floral and fauna. Many times people will come to me and six months prior they were uh, traveling in Mexico or they were traveling in another part of the world where there was different floral and fauna and that can activate acne on your skin or a fungus on your skin as well. So think back, where was I? Was I by water that was hard or dirty? And that can help you to know that that might be a reason that you started getting cystic acne or breaking out. Um, in, in essence, I can give you probably a million other reasons and a million other things, but I want you to be aware of what you're using. Don't just go on Amazon, click something that has pictures and everything looks like the before and afters are great and all the reviews are good and you're buying some skincare product that you're going to put on your face that an esthetician or someone with knowledge didn't recommend to you. Be mindful what you put on your skin and where you're getting it. Find a master esthetician. Find a skincare guru to help you. Um, don't inject or burn or chemically peel your skin if you're breaking out or you have acne or even if you have the effects after acne like scars. Please don't let someone just burn your skin off or chemically, as I said, burn it or inject it to lift the scars up. Try to do things holistically to start because once you do those things, many of the effects can't be reversed. And there are natural ways to help with scar tissue and to help get skin healed and looking clear and flawless. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Again, there, I could probably mention a million other things, but be mindful. Uh, be mindful of what you're doing with your skin. Be mindful of who you're letting care for your skin, just like you would your hair, your teeth, or your body. Um, taking care of your skin should not be something you do on your birthday or for a special occasion. It should be something that you always do, that you uh, do for your life, so that when you're my age, it looks better, and hopefully over the years, I even age a little less. I don't know. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's given you something that resonates with you. And I want you all to know you can have beautiful skin. Comment below with kindness. If you have any questions for me, I promise I'll get back with you. I can help you to have clearer skin naturally. And I hope you all stay healthy. Stay happy during this time. I'm 
thinking of you. I hope you're thinking of me and stay beautiful and